Right. So today we will do uh, the analysis for this uh, recent application which has been launched uh, as uh, Flowwise AI. And this is an agentic AI application. With the help of this, uh, you can create uh, agents uh, and agentic workflows. Uh, okay, so this is Flowwise AI. So if I go to Flowwise AI.com, probably so you can also reach out to uh, Flowwise AI with the help of uh, navigating it from Google and you will have a page which is flowwiseai.com and then go there. This is the landing page and they have a greater presence also and then these are some of the so you their tagline is built AI agent visually which means that you can with the help of a prompt uh, you can build a agentic systems uh, okay, with minimum amount of customization okay so it's an open source agent systems development platform uh, you can get started by just signing up on uh, google or maybe uh, with some other credentials and then you can just uh, it will take you to this page which is their uh, cloud hosted uh, platform and then you can start building your agents here so the difference between Flowwise and the other platforms like uh, Anaten and uh, Make is that uh, you can uh, build your agentic systems or apps uh, just by giving some prompts and then it will create most of the workflow for you and then uh, you have to just customize it and then you can uh, create those. So, uh, it's been backed by Y Combinator and it's been featured on Product Hunt. And then this is the canvas uh, you are seeing, the similar canvas which I was showing to you. And the canvas, and here if you start, so the AI agent or the agentic workflow will look like this. As you can see, this is a start node, and then these are the other nodes like detect user intention node, and then these are the three agents which are being connected to this. So this is the agentic workflow and then the testing or the chat uh, interface you can get from here and then you can directly chat with the agentic uh, system and then you can get your desired outputs whatever you are looking for. Okay, so you can also create, uh, uh, attach different uh, models, AI LL models like here it, for technical agent it is using Gemini 2.0 sales agent it is using plot uh, and then for this agent another agent it's using a Gemini or open ai so uh, and for detect user intention also it is using gpt 4.2 okay so this is a workflow which is a combination of different different agents uh, as you can see this is the first agent detect user intention then these are some of the other agents and by the combination of these agent system you are getting the desired uh, uh, okay, so it's a basically a chat system where the user will uh, or a sales uh, uh, representative uh, person will definitely have to uh, uh, reroute the user request based on the user intention to the technical team or to the sales team or to some other team. Uh, but uh, with the help of this agentic uh, workflow, it is auto uh, redirected, will capture the input of user or the customer to chat or to voice and then automatically using this agent, uh, which is detect user intention, it can reroute this to the various types of uh, agents and then they can resolve the query and then it will show it. Uh, definitely you can add more agents as per your requirements here this is just a demo and then it is interested and used by other companies like essential and all those companies over here you can uh, uh, okay you can so install it uh, just uh, two commands are needed uh, for a self-hosted uh, version and then you can see these are the multi-agent which i showed you and it's in so it is also uh, uh, you can also create chat systems, which is a single agent system, uh, chatbot to support tool calling using Rax, uh, which supports all sorts of documents which you can put it. Okay, so here you can see the example like, hi there, how can I help? And then it is 
uh, just getting a job for a user. Then there's a, uh, a note for human in the loop where uh, humans review the tasks performed by the agents and then they can give the feedback. So if you can see the response the reply and loop back if the response is correct, then uh, it will reroute the, the second workflow. And if it is not, then it will come back in a feedback loop and it will again proceed based on the human input. And then these are the observability also, which is a good uh, point to take on where you can trace which is hap what is happening on your uh, agentic system, where it is going, what it is executing, and everything will, will be here as the observability. So it is full execution traces support. Okay, and then uh, there is a developer-friendly SDK API embedded. Um, all those sorts of supports are there where you can uh, more customize it more. Okay, then uh, you can also uh, make it enterprise ready based on your production environment. You can host it there. Okay, deploy it there, and then you can scale your AI applications with uh, this kind of infra. So these are all the um, uh, features, and then if you can go to pricing, then um, for a free tier it is two flows and assistance, and then hundred production, five MB storage evaluation, and for the starter it is thirty five dollars per month, uh, which includes everything free and all those things are being listed here. If you want to go for pro, then it is sixty-five dollars in the enterprise. So these are some of the videos on the community, which will help you to build uh, your uh, agentic platforms. Okay, and these are some of the comments of. Okay, so let's dive in to this. This is having a GitHub uh, presence also. So okay, you can check the GitHub repo of flowwise and i'm just taking you to so to get started you have to click on get started and then it is uh you can sign up here for free i have signed it up and i can log in my google account and then after login it will take you to this cloud uh, canvas and then uh, these are various um, uh, categories of uh, building agentic flows I'm really impressed by this marketplace. If you go to this marketplace, then it will definitely showcase to you the various types of templates which are available uh, and being created by other guys. And then you can use them uh, as your base templates and then you can customize them. Okay, so these are the number of templates which are there. And each template is a kind of a project or automization, automization agentic automation. Okay. So, let me okay so if i want to maybe try some of them i can take this one csv agent and this you can use this template okay so this is an open ai uh, input and then it is a csv agent which is basically uh, okay so which is basically so if i want to use this template i can just click on this and then this will be available for me this agent uses the following steps convert csv to a data frame object instruct the llm to generate python code to answer user question using the frame provided data frame provided and then it is returning the result in a natural response so you can create also specify the system image okay what you want to do so this okay so if you want to configure it then definitely what you have to do is uh you have to uh, use your credentials maybe if i have credentials which i already have and then then what you guys can do is no okay and then you can open this chat window maybe before that you can save it you can save it as a CSV Insight Finder. Save it and then maybe for a CSV agent, it is asking you to upload some files. 
maybe you can upload any of the files just a minute what is this Good downloads maybe i have some csv files i can take this to the performance okay and upload it okay then let's see if this okay okay so now our we can use it okay, or is inside this CSV. Start. So, okay, you have to configure it using some of the properties, okay, but I was just trying to tell you that how you can basically use some of the existing uh, existing templates which are already there and now you can okay you, you have to just configure it okay as an input you have to take some inputs and then configure it so next section i would want you to go to is chat flows i have already this chat flow which i have created you can add some more chat flows these are some of the options like you have, can select any of the given um, existing uh, length change lava index utilities inside that you can select any of the agents that you want then you can also select cache then you can select chains whatever change you want chat models it's very interesting even rlms memory moderations all these you can select and then they, they have some support for some mcp also so you can create that also right so these are some of the uh, I would say under uh, Lamy chain. Then similarly for Llama, you can select agents, chat models, embeddings, whatever you want. Some of the utilities are also there, which you can. These are some of the functions which you can select. Okay. Uh, so then uh, uh, this is was inside the chat flow. If you want to create agent flows, definitely uh, you can add some new. And here you can either create the agent flow using a prompt or an existing uh, flow. Just create some model and then it will get it. So let's say create an agent flow, generate response to user queries and send it back. Okay. And then it will ask you which model you want to use to create this. So I, if I want to use this OpenAI, and I'll, I'll just use my credentials uh, for that. And then okay, and this and then I can generate it. So this workflow will get generated just using the query or the prompt. Okay, and then you can just customize to that particular uh, workflow. So it has created like start, generate response, and send it to Slack. Okay, so this is and then you can customize it that how do you want a trigger node or a start node? How do you want to generate the response? Which model do you want to use? Okay, okay, and then maybe this one. And then what parameters do you want? It can also ask you for those parameters. You can give some of the parameters of the model. Uh, it's good that it's giving you an option to fine tune the model. Okay, based on this and the associated characteristics or some of other model which you are taking, and then send it to the Slack. So if I want to okay and then i can configure the slack also okay and slack mcp is there and i can give my slack credentials or create new credentials and then and give the slack credentials and then it will be ready so okay uh, okay and then i'll just update the flow state and then okay and then it will be ready okay so this will be ready so this agentic system is just created with the help of uh, 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 just a prompt which i gave it here uh, and then most of the things uh, i'll just have to configure it or give my credentials and things will get sorted even if i want something else customize it let's say for example if i want to use some agent in this existing or some condition or any condition agent or direct reply, HTTP request, or any human input, iteration, anything, LLMs, then these are some of the options which are already there, okay, uh, in which I can always enhance or enrich this workflow, 
indefinitely i i can uh, i have a checklist to validate the flow and everything so i can test it using this uh, uh, chat response i will have to save it unless it's not giving me uh, so this is all about uh, the agent flows and chat flows then there are executions so whatever executions are executed this so it is giving me these executions okay start date and date all details about my execution that is giving me okay and then assistants are there so you can uh, use any of those six assistants if you upgrade it well you will get more marketplace i've already told you tools are so you can create tools so these are some of the tools which you can create and then you can use those tools okay so this i'm giving you an option to create some tools or load some tools which you can use in your uh um, agentic flows then credentials definitely credentials have uh whatever apis you are using these credentials are there you can add those and directly use in to your agentic flows then these are some of the variables you might be using if you want to create global variables or any of those variables api keys okay then document stores let's say for example you want to use any documents uh for your LLM retrieval you can obviously create these documents here itself or you can just link it to your google drive or any of the storage and then you can directly call that yourselves data sets again you can create your data sets by uploading the files evaluators and all that so these are you can use some of the evaluators okay here and evaluations you can use here if you evaluators um, grade metrics like tokens total then you can this is a good feature where you will be able to get these parameters like latency total api latency completion so obviously some of the features are being added uh, here in flowwise uh, ai the new version which has been re released recently and it is intuitive and insightful uh, and um, okay so it um, definitely it will have more exposure when people will start um, just using these features and create the agentic applications but so far it is looking good uh with a just drag and drop or just uh, with the help of a prompt uh, you are able to create some agentic applications and use it so obviously yeah this is good um, thanks a lot if you want to learn more about flowwise we uh, will be definitely coming up with some more use cases which you can build using flowwise and how you can uh, productionize them uh, so stay connected there will be more videos in, on in maybe workshops on detailed use cases on flowwise thanks a lot uh, this is a web of thank you